Hello everybody! So I promised to show you the next step regarding the pet board. And you see I've changed location. I'm at the makerspace now because there I have all the other tools that I need to do the entire process. So as a first step I want to show you how I prepare the bottles. I will use heat to blow them up because if you look at the, the bottles most of them they they are not straight and uh, they have textures on them and we want to have one even surface so we can pull a very long strand from them. As a first step we have to prepare a tire valve. As you see I've uh, added it onto a cap, I've drilled a hole, secured it with a nut and inside you can still see the rubber. Yeah, so you have to take care that you cut it nice and round, that you can close the bottle and no air can escape. Here's a ratio that we normally use for fondue. And uh, I have added already some security paste, burning security paste. It is quite handy because it's, it's uh, like a gel and not fluid. So it's not that risky. And then you just put it into inside the ratio. You could also use a ca camping gas cooker. You know, those portable small ones that would also work fine. And the next step, we will pump up the bottle. You see I've already prepared it. I have the the pump here. It's for bicycles. So you just add. Uh, you connect it like that. And then you pump it up until you can feel that the bottle has some pressure inside. Yeah, don't overdo it, otherwise uh, it will um, <laughs> it will break. It happened to me once, so don't overdo it, please. And then, yeah, you just. Um, start turning the bottle but take care to to wear some kind of glasses because if you stay too long in one point the bottle might explode it also happened to me and then you just spin it of course um, yeah it would be easier to use a um, echo um, screwdriver i didn't have one so you have to be patient, uh, keep on moving, don't go too close to the fl uh, flame and keep in motion and you will see after a while uh, something will happen, you know, the, the bottle will get straighter and straighter and if you have lost some pressure inside the bottle, you have to cool it down a bit and apply a little bit more pressure to the bottle. Uh, take your time, please, until you... Uh, really get some routine and then the following bottles will be much quicker. Okay, I will speed it up now. Almost finished. So this is what it looks like afterwards. Yeah, you could do a little bit better still, but uh, this is uh, one of my first ones. I guess after a while we'll get better. So before you open up the bottle, be sure that it's not too hot anymore. And then carefully, carefully open up the lid, let the air escape, and then you can go on with the next one. So before we start, we have to get rid of the, the sticky surface here. And uh, I'm going to do that with acetone. But uh, you could also use olive or sunflower oil. That would also work. don't want to have anything on the surface that uh, would call, cause a pollution of the, uh, of the filament. It would get brownish, so all of that remaining stuff from the sticker that is on the surface has to be removed. 
prior to extruding. So in the next step, we will cut the bottle. Uh, yeah, so you use a, a knife. You carefully create a hole, and then with the scissor, you have to take care to cut it straight. Yeah, okay. I get. I guess after a few tries, I will get it more even. Yeah, maybe because there's a line here, maybe I can cut it along this line. It makes it maybe easier. The rest of the bottle will be used uh, in the precious plastic machines. So we have a shredder and so nothing will be lost. Everything will be used, even the caps. But there will be another video where I show the process. Okay, there we go. That one was better. Okay, I will do this now with all the bottles and then we go on to the next step. You could use a, a weight. I'm using a retractable cord to put some pressure on the bottle. And you see this one here cuts at 8 millimeter. I've already threaded it through. And then when you pull on it, you get really even strands. Yeah. I've already cut the beginning. It has to be very skinny. I've been using a piece of PTFE tube. I'm using about 220 degrees and I'm trying to to prepare to condition this, this filament strand here a bit so it gets very hard so I can thread it through e easier later. I'm going to take out that uh, Teflon or that uh, PTFE tube in a moment. Ah, here we go. You see, as I hardened it a bit, it was easier to thread through, otherwise it's too floppy. Now I have to wait a little bit until it is uh, hot enough and then I can start pulling. So I'm carefully going to pull, thread it through here. I don't pull too hard, otherwise it will break. I have to thread it through the hole here. Let's see, so this is the beginning here. To find something to secure it here. Make a knot.
けど。<笑>私は。I will show you how to join the two ends. I found this trick on YouTube. I will put the link of the original video under my video so you see、uh, who gave me this idea. You use a, a little piece of PTFE tube that you cut、uh, off sharp on one edge. You see now I'm smudging it together, and then quickly you have to pull it back into the tube. Wait until it is cooled down. It takes a while. So I'm not over the flame now anymore. I'm in front of the flame. Can you see? So it can cool down. And then you pull it back. And you will have to cut off the, the parts, you know, the blob. So, okay. And it's so cool because you only need a. A candle to do this step. Take your time and just remove as much as you can. And、uh, afterwards, when you are happy with your result, we can then go to the next step. Almost finished. Take care that there are not、uh, any loose parts. As you've seen, I've just pulled some back. So this would be okay for the moment. And then we can go to the sanding part. Okay, here is a Dremel with a sandpaper. I couldn't find any tungsten carbide burr, so I. I had to use the sandpaper. Yeah, use it as a lowest speed, please, otherwise, the whole thing will start smearing. Always turn the ends around and always feel if there are still some blobs. Try to make it as even as possible, otherwise, you will have a, a nozzle clog、uh, because the, the extruder of the 3D printer will not feed the, this part through. So take care really to do it as even as possible. Take your time. Sometimes if it gets too thin, you have to start all over again. It also happened to me. It got too, too skinny and then、uh, I had to cut it、uh, in two parts again and start all over. But I guess this is, has to do with the routine. Over time, you will get quicker and quicker. 
So next time I will use my micro motor and a tungsten carbide burr. I feel more comfortable with that. But for now this this also worked fine. Take a look at this awesome looking result. I was able to join four bottles for this test. As I just said, next time I will try with my micro motor. I guess that word would work for me personally better. And uh, yeah, but so far I'm really happy and I'm looking forward to seeing if the, the joints will feed through my Prusa extruder smoothly or if it has a problem. I hope that the ends will not come apart. And yeah, I will show you some print results very soon. Okay, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.